Privacy concerns are being raised by cannabis customers using the city's illegal pot shop. So here in Yorkville at Amari, uh, bud tenders could ask to scan your driver's license. If you refuse, you will be turned away. If you comply, I'm being told once your ID is scanned, the information will be stored for up to 90 days. If you look like you're under 25 or 25 or under, the uh, bud tender will ask you for ID and scan it at the at the till. There is a little controversy over the scanners. If you go online, uh, people are a little nervous about it. Uh, they're worried about their information being stored and wondering what it's for. Uh, Cova operates our point of sale. They assure us that it's a cloud-based system. They assure us that the information remains in Canada and they, they assure us it's secure. So you would be holding on to information? Yes. Rob is a pot shop spokesperson. He'll only give me his first name, though, over concerns his connection to cannabis could get him stopped at the border. He tells me Amari is keeping security camera footage for up to 90 days and will do the same with customer information. While this is not required by the government, Rob tells me it's to ensure they do not jeopardize their license by accidentally serving someone underage. At Honeypot, Toronto's first cannabis store, the same Cova software is being used. It's a full point of purchase system that includes the ID scanner, and many cannabis retailers are using it in North America. At this location, IDs are visually checked and then scans are optional. You could have scanned if you wanted to, and it would pull up, I think, whether or not you were of right of age and whether or not it expired yet, and that was it, and then it would like create a profile for you if you wanted to, so that next time you went back, they would remember what you bought and could then recommend something else to you, I guess. Shane tells me he refused the scan and got to choose an alias instead. Do you have to order it from the bud tender's iPad, right? So do you have to I give think a name? So yeah, I had, you had to give some names. I told not Batman. It's my Batman? Go, it's my go-to for everything. It's Starbucks. I say Batman and any time. Issues over the ID scanners were raised in PEI shortly after legalization. That province's privacy commissioner launched an investigation. The store in question discovered it was unintentionally collecting data and stopped using the scanners. Should customers be concerned about their IDs being scanned? You know, it, it, it is a little bit disconcerting in the sense that there's still stigma associated with cannabis. And so it's sensitive information you may not want that to be on a list somewhere and if you're paying cash and if your ID passes sort of muster and you're of age, uh, it's not clear to me why that information would be recorded um, without someone's permission. Now, we did reach out to the other uh, legal cannabis stores that are still waiting to open in Toronto. So far, I've only heard back from Nova Cannabis on Queen West. I'm being told they will not be using the ID scanners unless it becomes a requirement by the Alcohol and Gaming Commission.